Don't waste a step. Predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? Being Dungeons and Dragons adventure. You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Finer champions than you have tried and failed. But perhaps they lacked the fear that drives you. Your freedom hanging in the balance. Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned, her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then Take control of it. Well, of course. He's Take never care had of the a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. that even be possible? Perhaps. No. There is no repentance. No release. My debt can never be repaid. Whispers. He is here. He is watching. He is listening. He is... He is... You dare end one who belongs to me. I am the smile of the world cleansed skull. I am the regrets of those nice. who remain. Apostle of Miracle, Visits of the Dead God, nice. And uh, there's the, these, pe these people here. Oh, chill, okay. 
Okay, he's, he's drawing them closer. Okay, he's, he's not having a great time here. Ah. Burning hands. Missed. Oh no. Kate is in, in trouble. One life to my life. Sustain me. Well, there goes the armor. Ouch, gates of the dead. I think he might be a uh Resistant or immune to necrotic damage, I think. Let's test Shard Darkness. Okay, he's blinded. Another cocoon. Okay, he's, he's escaping. Ouch! Ah, they, they are respawning, basically. Wonder if, if he's too... not... not close enough, okay. That, that's a damage. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Okay, no, no more bone chill. A little help, please. Take you. Yep, that that helps. The blade will not bend. <clears throat> what are you doing, bone chill? Okay. One, one point left. Let's 
to go to the hand to hand combat. Also, oh, real. Pawn to cleric four. But he's interrupted. Of course. My luck again. Okay. Mind player is down. Okay, he could make a shield blow from <laughs> that distance. picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an Elder Brain, to subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. One of them I know. Lord Enver Gortash, an arms dealer and a slaver, a worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. Bane. The other is a mystery to me, but the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Nice. Ketherick we we know them from Merkel, previous Baldur's Gates. The Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the chosen of the dead three. Makes sense. Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The tyrant, the assassin, and the necromancer. 
They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together, and with those stones, and that crown, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, nether stones. imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Netherese? These chosen are powerful indeed to have such magic in their command. We prepare for the fight of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Reaper sempre is. Very heavy armor. Ketrick sealed. Note. I can't help but feel like I've been fumbling in the dark for too long. And I've just had a lit torch thrust into my hands. Indeed. Under other circumstances, I might have been subdued or ashamed. But after what we saw, I must admit, I'm excited. The crown! The one the Elder Brain was wearing! The one I very nearly destroyed. Okay. Netherese. Magic, so pure, so complete. And he is like expert first. on that. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power, the ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but no matter, it exists. I must learn more of it. Back up a little. Why this crown is so important that all of a sudden? That sits on a gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, We'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep. Sorceress Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. No, Gail. Uh, why would Baldurian Magic Shop be the first place we... Ha! Sorceress Sundries is no mere trading post. It's been serving the arcane community for centuries. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. I mean, nethery sex are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems.
gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, Father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. Do you know about Gortash Salorin? I'd never heard tell of, but Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Sir, I said that uh, you can stay, but let your back to exile. Yes, but first a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? As would I, and more. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elturel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. Cult of the, the, cult the, dragon. Of the dragon. A fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Sounds Others logical. Others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat and intend to summon her to Faerun. Ah, Tiamat. To conjure the Dragon Queen and lay waste to Baldur's Gate. Well, of a course. ten day after Father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the Queen of Chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. The first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it. She whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mazora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five great orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. It is the one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. Ah, okay. I could flee to the spine of the world or the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her. He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. 
I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. I showed him my stone eye, but he only turned away. After, he said only one word, go. So I did. I understand. Okay, that's his story. I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. I can't say I'm not curious. But once you've taken a lithid by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. Still, I am the Frontier's avowed protector. New dangers require new skills to vanquish them. If the Tadpole must be my curse, then let the powers it grants me be the Sword Coast's blessing. I will consume what I must to make it so. Worms Rock Fortress. Worms All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander. My father. The Absolute's army's on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. Okay. Perils await beyond the horizon. Okay. The shadows yet fester. The dead three united under cover of darkness. Yeah, not not a good the thing. Balance shifts. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? I'm not sure you're total living things. No. Nor canst thou count mind flayers among them. Interesting. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. No. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness. Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The plains thus quake, and the gods shudder. Where matters of balance are concerned, I matters of balance. Hmm. eternally called. We, are n we don't know who this guy is. <laughs> Technically. Okay, I mean... Uh, Moonrise Tower, Towers, main floor. You prevailed, my friend. Now your path takes you to Baldur's Gate. But I cannot join you. Uh huh. Out there, the curse still thrives. I failed this place. Now I must remain behind and stand watch over it. Oh, understandable. So, but in truth, 
If I had to choose between death and the Shadowfell, I'd choose death. Perhaps there's still a way to learn something from him. The dead can't deny their knowledge if asked the right question. Yes. And so it must remain. I wish you success on your path. Had things been different, I might have walked it with you. Okay, so he healed. Last light is no more. Lady Shah's darkness will have swept away all resistance, thanks to my sacrifice. Okay. Just saying that some death con condemned at last light. Last light was shielded by Salunite magic. Perhaps when the Night Song died, the Moon Witch was grieved, distracted. Her blessings may have wavered. Still, though, I wonder if there's more to it. Surely they could have held out at the inn for at least a while, unless they too felt Night Song's passing. It matters little either way. Lady Shah claims everything in the end. Last Light is a testament to that. Slight, slightly sad, but that's 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 life. In a fantasy world. Breathe deep and move. Onward. Uh, that's a part. So yeah, they, they all were lost. Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? Probably. The tadpole, the absolute. How? I'd never have protected a Bayonite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. Uh huh. He okay, they have a history. He gave me without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast! He has to die! And I'm gonna be the one who kills him! He can't get away with what he's done to me. 
to us. He won't get away with it. I can feel it. The engine is getting hotter, louder. I, I feel like, like it might burn out completely. And soon, if I don't find some way to fix it. Well, about that. You know, Zariel may have put the fucking thing in, but Gortash gave her the go-ahead. You expect this shit from devils, but not from the people you care about. Let's get to the city. Got business there I'm highly fucking keen to attend to. I can't blame Horsin for leaving. We could have... should have done more for him and for the Cursed Lands. They may never again feel the breath of life on them. What a shame. No, never. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst. And Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. More than you know. The better question is, did he ever miss me? If he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew, not the hell-touched warlock he returned to. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And just when things were warming up... Pity about Halsin. I was getting used to having an extra strong around. He smelled nice, too. Like... outside. Like... outside. <laughs> okay. Let's go, go, go. What's on your mind? He got his claws into me early. I was a wild kid, brawling my way through the city. One of my mates got wind of a bit of work, guarding some indoorsy type with lots of enemies. Seemed like easy money, so I went in for it. He took one look at me and said I was perfect. I like that. Not like that, you know. Just, it felt like a good fit. I kept him safe, and he paid me well. Well enough to move my folks into a better neighborhood and put something away for the future. My future. I respected him, trusted him. And he returned that trust, that respect. His life was in my hands, and I took that seriously. The whole thing with Zauriel happened so fast. I had no idea what had gone down until it was over. One minute I was in Baldur's Gate, a happy, healthy, not quite kid. The next, I was burning up in Avernus with an engine for a heart. Zariel laughed, said she paid him well for my services. She'd wanted to test her new machine. And he said I'd be able to handle it. He was right. Sometimes I wish he weren't. Evil, evil bastard. Everyone goes to the Baldur's Gate. Catherick is defeated, the path ahead clear. You should be elated. The sight of the land you leave behind does nothing to alleviate your sorrow. deep your pain, it cannot compare to Halson's.
I don't know how we should have... It was... Well... What to do with the Celestial? So if if, if the Celestial could have lived, then there's a chance to uh, lift the curse, but no, no other way around. Which would have me meant like Shadowheart fails her mission. And uh, apparently we have been siding with the Shadowheart in this game playthrough, so next playthrough, maybe something differently. Do something differently, play differently. So definitely not a full full uh, good guy playthrough, but Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Wern's Rock is secure, and preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. <laughs> Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control ah. yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to be you. To split your skin, to see your skull shine in the light, little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. But tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. Nice illusion. Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. Worms look at okay. Druids will always follow nature's purpose over any mortal threat. Housing goes where he is needed, as must we. 
There's nothing that would give me greater pleasure. Oh, well, let let's start start with th this then. <laughs> okay, so what's what's our plan? You must know, our relationship is the brightest spot in our otherwise bleak endeavor. To know you love me for the man I am and not the magic I command. None have loved me so purely before. You are everything to me. And yet our relationship is only a nascent fraction of what it will become. You give me hope. I've not had that in some time. Plenty of them. And all complicated. It's not easy to turn away from one you once loved, but now that I see our relationship with all the illumination hindsight has to offer, I mostly feel only regret. I was not the first wizard to fall under her spell, nor will I be the last. I was an amusement to her. Mortal to be trifled with, amused and eventually discarded. I regret the way I hurt her, of course I do. But she would have seen me destroy myself to earn her forgiveness. There's no love lost between us. None at all. What a question. Uh, no. You're not the first. Though you are the first since my relationship with Mistra came to its ignominious end. When the true danger posed by my condition became apparent, I had no choice but to sequester myself away from civilized society. A reclusive wizard. <laughs> Who'd have thought? After so long with Mistra, I have to say the pleasures of mortal love are much sweeter than I remember. But perhaps that's simply because it's with you. Okay. <laughs> No matter. After all, a bond like ours hardly needs words to express it. What else is troubling you? The gate is closed. As is Casador. And we are no closer to knowing why that bastard is so obsessed with getting me back. <clears throat> I think we should track down my fellow spawn. I'm not exactly looking forward to a reunion, but perhaps they'll know something. If we can find them, we can force them to tell us what he's been doing since I was gone. And honestly, I imagine they'll be coming for me in the night if I don't. Unless Cazador has changed their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Okay, uh, at least he has a, all, all of these planned.